uh, hi guys welcome to this video so in this video we will look at uh, a process of how to install and set up code nighter and run a very simple project in vs code i will show you step by step code nighter if you don't know guys it's a php framework if you just type code nighter uh, this is their official website it is a free and open source uh, framework for developing php applications so it's a very small framework but yet it is very powerful and the latest version of code nighter is 4 version and uh, you can see on their official website if you want to i will show you two methods first of all the manual method the second one will be to actually installing it using composer so i will show you both the methods so first of all guys what we need to do right here there is this download button you need to simply click on download and there are two versions available the latest version is code nighter 4 and code nighter 3 so depending upon which version you want to use so i will use the latest version click on download and it will now start downloading your version you can see that so once it once it is installed guys so what you need to do let me just uh, inside my downloads directory let me change it to this download directory again click download so it will actually download it inside my downloads directory so once it's in, it's a zipped file so once it is installed what we need to do uh, you can see that it will look something like this this actually is a zip file so what you need to do you do need to have a another software installed which is exam control panel so exam control panel actually is a, uh, a piece of software available for windows linux and mac it comes with the apache server and mysql database as well so it is available for windows mac and linux depending upon your internet uh, operating system install it i have already installed it so it will look something like this exam control panel simply launch this and first of all you need to start this apache server and mysql database so it will actually start your apache server and mysql database so by default guys exam is lo located in the c directory if you install it by default it will exam and then inside this folder htdocs folder you need to simply paste that zip file that you downloaded of code nighter simply just uh, cut this file and simply navigate to this directory and paste it so you will actually see this is actually the zip file which is there now you need to extract it so, so right click and simply select this option extract all so simply click extract so it will actually extract all the files which the code nighter framework is part of so this is actually the first method manual installation so if you want to build a code nighter project this is a manual method by which you go to their official website download all the files and then go to the htdocs folder and simply copy paste and extract all the content so this is actually the first manual method of installing code nighter so i'm just telling you so once it's, it's installed it will actually create this folder you can rename this folder to, to any name let's suppose i rename to sample project whatever is your project name so i will simply say this is my project and if you just uh, open it inside vs code it will look something like uh, this this is actually the directory structure of a simple code nighter project you will see that app folder public so this is actually the directory structure and uh, now to run this project guys you navigate to localhost my exam server is already running so sample project you will actually get this error guys if you go to the public folder we seem to have a hit a snag so you will actually get an error because uh, by default you do need to uh, actually create sorry enable this uh, intl extension if you don't do this you will actually get an error if you go to you will see that you will actually get an error so for fixing this error you need to go to this uh, apache and then you need to go to this option config and you need to edit this file which is uh, this is uh, php.eni file this is actually the file that you need to edit simply click it and this file will open inside uh, 
notepad and just search for this extension INTL this is actually the extension guys it stands for interna internationalization in PHP you need to simply remove this semicolon that is present right here so this means that this uh, extension is disabled so see, if you just remove this uh, semicolon and again save this file so this extension will be enabled internal international uh, internationalization extension of PHP so this is required for code nitrile if you just uh, save this and close this file so what it will do it will again restart the server click on stop and again start and then if you navigate to it you will basically see the welcome page of code nighter so welcome to code nighter 4.5.3 so you will see that this is actually the welcome page it is there so if you navigate to the public folder you will actually see index.php sorry what is the file here this is uh, go to the app folder and I think uh, if you go to the views folder and then this is actually the welcome message PHP file so if you just uh, want to change this so you will see h1 tag if I write this is sample code nighter app so if you just make this change refresh you will see that this is sample code nighter app so this is actually the welcome page that you can add it and change it so this is a very simple way by which you can manually install code nighter and run it inside vs code so this is the first way now I will tell you the second way guys which is uh, a recommended way most programmers use this way instead of manually installing it again simply stop this and uh, again if I go to that reset this extension disable this once again I will show you from scratch so again save this close this so now the second way which is a very best way to actually do this which is by using composer composer is actually a dependency manager guys for PHP applications if you don't know it is similar to NPM which is node package manager so it is useful for installing PHP modules so we can again write this command composer create project and then code nighter we need to create a code nighter project code nighter 4 slash app starter and then followed by your project name so let me say, give uh, my sample project so this is actually you will see that guys this is actual command you can pause the video and write it composer create project code nighter 4 slash app starter slash uh, followed by space my sample project this is the actual name of the project you can give any name this is actually the command if you just uh, enter it it will actually install the modules right here so once again the same error will come guys if you see the same error is coming because we disable that extension of internationalization and it is again telling me the same message that is uh, co code nighter 4, 4 framework require that intl extension it is missing from your system so install or enable php internationalization extension so once again what you will do go to this config folder and search for this uh, intl and just remove this semicolon and again save this and restart the server and if you just enter it it will actually Uh, I will cd into this my sample project and then I will simply say composer install so you will see it will actually install it programmatically so this way we don't need to go to manually to the website and install the files it will actually fetch all the files programmatically using composer so this is a recommended way guys if you are a programmer if you want to do the things right way I will choose the second way now again it is actually created this project for us programmatically you will see that automatically all the files are there so this is the same directory structure now to actually start your uh, uh, server guys if you want to run this there is this command available php spark 
serve. So this is actually Spark CLI tooling is available of it is built up on Codeniter. So PHP Spark serve. It will actually start your development server on local host 8080. If you just type it, you will see that. So it is part of Codeniter. Codeniter development server started on local host 8080. So now you can actually go to your application. Just type local host 8080. This is the same home page that you can see right here. Codeniter. So again, you can edit this home page just going to the app folder and right here goes to the views folder. Welcome message. Just edit this file, change it to any welcome message. Welcome to Code Nighter. So very simple, guys. Uh, if you refresh it, you will see that. So you can just decide which way you want to do it, either manually or using Composer. And I will recommend you to the second way, which is far better way of installing and creating a Code Nighter project and running it on VS Code. And in VS Code, guys, some of the extensions you want to install it while working with Code Nighter. And I have installed these extensions, so I will tell you Code Nighter. If you just write it, you will basically see I install this extension, Code Nighter 4 extension path. So this extension we need to install it, which works with the Code Nighter 4 latest version of Code Nighter. Simply install this extension. I've already installed it, so it helps in the in tele IntelliSense, so it will give you uh, drop downs of the basic syntax of uh, Code Nighter, so it works very well. So, thanks very much, guys, for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel as well, and I will be seeing you in the next video.